Hey guys, it's Coach of Tactical Hive, and I get a lot of questions about muzzle devices. So this is going to be the definitive on what muzzle devices do and what the difference between a, uh, a flash hider, a compensator, and a brake right after this. This video is brought to you by Dry Fire Mag. Uh, if you're going to dry fire in the striker fired world, you know, you don't want to be wasting time racking that slide over and over, building bad habits. So what dry fire mag does is you can load it into your gun and it gives you that, it simulates your trigger squeeze. So when you're doing drills, you know, you can get that, that take up and the break and it's, it's not quite as good as uh, shooting on the range, but it's as close as you can get. So check them out in the description below and let's get to it. All right, guys, muzzle devices. So everybody knows what the A2 flash hider looks like. You know, this is, it's similar to this and it's got uh, the, the A1 just had a, uh, had all these little, uh, little cuts in it, went all the way around. Okay, that was the, on the uh, the first M16A1s. Um, what happens there is, you know, it, it causes the uh, the gases to disperse before they can ignite. Okay, so as it comes out there, you don't get this flash. You should, it's dispersed, so it, it cuts it way down. There's always a little bit. Um, the problem with having cuts all the way around was that you, if you're in, in a prone position laying on the, in the dust, you got a big dust plume and it gave away your position or it blocked your uh, vision to the target. So the A2 uh, put the cuts in just the top and not the bottom. And that also helped a little bit as it's a little bit of a, a, of a compensator because it would, you know, all that gas going up kind of pushed the muzzle down just that little bit. It wasn't as effective as, uh, as some of the ones they have now. But for the day, it really worked well. Uh, this one here is from Knight's Armament, and this was uh, this was set up for our suppressors. So it has a little little notch there. So when you put the suppressor on, you could lock it in, and it would it would time to the same spot every time. So that's what a flash hider does. A flash hider just eliminates the flash. Now there's other ways to do it. Um, normally, you can identify a flash hider because you've got the whole everything's bigger as it comes out. Okay, so you, whatever size this is, there's no, there's no obstructions, there's no horizontal surfaces facing back at you. Now, you can have a vent off like this, or have the splits like these. These, uh, these are kind of like a tuning fork, though. Every time you shoot, it gets a little ping. Some are worse than others. You know, you got big heavy ones, you know, and you got lighter ones, but all this does is dispersing the uh, the gases before they can ignite and cause that flash. So they don't do much with compensating. Um, if you have it aimed in a, in a certain area, then you get a little bit of a comp. Um, and then there's the, the muzzle brake. So a comp is going to force the gun. Normally recoil comes up. So it usually vents out the top and helps push the barrel down a little bit and just keep it steady so you don't have that muzzle rise as you're shooting. Now, a brake has these horizontal surfaces. Um, let's see, where's a good one? Okay, so these are, uh, there's some, some really obnoxious ones on the market. Now, the more, the more of these surfaces that you have, the more gas it catches. Now, when we talk about gas, that's the the explosives. So, you know, you just had a, a controlled explosion going on in here. And that gas is coming out. And when it hits these, it presses against them. So you've got the force coming back at you. And then those gases hitting those horizontal surfaces actually breaks it. It, it, it keeps the, the gun from recoiling as harshly back at you. Okay, so the bigger these are, normally the more effective that braking action is now everything's a trade-off what's the downside well to you no big deal because the gas kind of gets vented off at an angle but that dude standing next to you he gets the full brunt and boy there's some obnoxious ones out there this one actually isn't that bad 
But if you're just on the range, the guy next to you is he, he's pissed off. But for tactical teams, the guy next to you is also taking shots. And, and if he's having to deal with that, that muzzle blast off of your gun, it's less than ideal. Okay. So the compensator, um, the linear compensator has, so this is an SD tactical. This is their regular uh, uh, three chamber uh, comp. And then uh, the blast cage, this is a, a short one. They make them in different sizes, but it's got those horizontal surfaces along with these. But when you put this on here, now all that blast is going forward. So it's going forward towards the target or towards the threat. So if I'm shooting at somebody, I don't really care whether they can hear tomorrow or not, right? So, but I care if my family can. Now, a lot of places in the country, you can't own a suppressor. And if you can't own that suppressor, then this is the next best thing. It's not going to fix everything. It will still be really, really loud, but at least it will direct that blast forward towards your target or towards your threat. Now, volume is important. Um, so on my Mark 18 clone here, I've got the Surefire Flash Hider and then the Surefire Warden, which has the same connector as the suppressor. Just drops right on there and locks in. Okay, now, linear compensators. I'm a big fan of a linear compensator because it controls that blast from the muzzle brake, pushes everything down range, and they come in a bunch of different varieties, all right? You've got something simple. I think this is a Caw Valley, and it's basically a tube with those little slots, right? Or little uh, horizontal surfaces, and it does, it, the, the, the braking action isn't the best, but it does push all those gases forward so you're not, uh, you know, blasting the eardrums off the guy next to you. you, know, he, you know, even with Ear Pro, these muzzle brakes, some of them, boy, they'll just, they'll, they'll not turn your hat sideways and they'll, uh, you know, loosen your fillings. It's, it, they're horrible. Uh, so here's another one. I think this came on the SIG and it's a linear compensator as well with a lot smaller. And the whole idea, you just still that, venting that gas forward. Now you can have just open-ended ones like this. This one attaches uh, on a, an SD Tactical. It's so, uh, their version of a, I think it's called a pig cover. Uh, but yeah, you just focus that blast forward instead of backwards. Um, this one just has like a venturi. So there's no chamber here. It just opens up. And so there's no breaking there at all. It's just pushing all that blast forward. Uh, now, SD Tactical, they just sent me these. And you'll, you'll notice uh, these have really big... Uh, horizontal surfaces and you know they are it's just horrendously loud but it comes with this other piece that you can put on that then focus everything out that way um so far so good they, they actually have a, a a fair amount of braking that they do uh and you don't get that blast uh we shoot them with them on and with them off and uh and see what we get so that's what we got there um, I don't. I wouldn't suggest shooting it like that at all because no, no one's going to be your friend at the range if you if you show up with that thing and shoot it. You need to put the uh, 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 the cover on it. And then the last one here. This is uh, we've done this one before. This is the uh, my home defense gun. It's in nine mil and it has eight inches of rifle barrel and, and then eight inches of pin and welded linear compensator on there. So it's just it's not a suppressor, but it soaks up that blast and pushes it forward. It's still really, really loud, but you don't have that beep after, you know, after every shot. Um, I have shot it without Air Pro in. Uh, it, it's not a good idea, but it's not, it, it's definitely not hearing safe, but it's way better than ringing your bell with an, uh, an uncorked uh, uh, short barrel, you know, 556. Five, so anyway, that's just a quick rundown over what muzzle devices are, right? Flash hiders hide flash. Muzzle brakes, put that braking action on the recoil. And compensators jet the gas in some direction to help uh, mitigate the muzzle rise. Okay, those are the biggest things here. There's a bunch of different ways to, uh, to skin this cat. Uh, do some experimentation. 
and uh, find out what works for you. What fits uh, yeah, your, uh, your need. All right, guys, if you like this content, like, subscribe, leave me some comments.